This video is about 14 things that you should know about before moving to Long Beach. Stay tuned. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time here seeing me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out these videos every single week about Long Beach and the surrounding cities, about where to eat, live, play, sleep, all the good stuff there is to know and all the stuff that you want to know. Today's is about 14 things that you should know about before moving to Long Beach. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Rachel McKay and her husband for reaching out to me from Alberta, Canada. I love helping people out, and especially when they get hold of me through the YouTube channel like Rachel did. They reached out to me, they'll be transferring here in April, and hopefully I'll be helping them get them a place. So if you need any help, you know anybody that needs any real estate assistant help, please reach out to me. 14 things you want to know about living in Long Beach before moving here. You've worked your butt off, you've done all your research about where you want to live and everything else. But bottom line is you just want to know what the hell it's like to live here. For sports. Well, we don't have any professional sports here per se, but we do support the Cal State Long Beach. They play the dirtbags. They play at the Blair Field. And every so often we get a semi-pro team. The last one there I think was the Long Beach Breakers. And the manager there was Steve Yeager from the Dodgers. So we don't have professional sports here in Long Beach, but 40 minutes away, you have the Dodgers. 20 minutes away, you have the Angels. Uh, 40 minutes away, you have the Lakers, the Clippers. You have Rams, you have Chargers. We've got everything here for football, for baseball, for sports. This is a huge sports community. So 13, oceans, mountains, deserts. We got them all. Well, we are Long Beach, so you know we have the oceans. Deserts, hour and a half, that way, right there. We have Palm Springs. That's more of a weekend trip, because you want to go out there, you want to enjoy the day, the fabulous weather, the beautiful scenery, and the incredible nightlife in Palm Springs that they have created. You want to take your family skiing. Hour and a half to the north of we have Big Bear Mountain. Some of the best skiing in Southern California. Outside of Mammoth, of course. But it is beautiful, majestic winter land up there. And it's only an hour and a half away from 70 degree weather as it is today. Also, you're going to have to watch out for those furry little friends of ours because Long Beach is huge dog lovers, huge animal lovers so for that fact. But they're huge dog lovers. I was at Home Depot today, saw two dogs. I was at the mall the other day, saw a dog there. We have restaurants called uh, Lazy Dog, where you're more than welcome to bring your dog, sit on the patio and enjoy. They'll, they have a menu for the dogs. And I go to a place called Curly's. I can take my dog there on the weekends. No problem, they serve up my dog a little hamburger patty. They cater to dogs here. They love dogs. Now number 11, the weather here. Well. We're not like the Pacific Northwest where it's always raining and stuff. We get a little bit of rain. People start complaining because oh, it's too cold. It's too cold. Oh, I'm ready for summer. Oh, and then summer, about halfway in the summer, oh, it's too hot. I'm ready for winter. They can never make up their mind here. But what happens when it rains here, we average about 12 and a half inches per year. But we don't get it, you know, it, Throughout the whole year, we usually get a couple little storms. Done deal. A few storms. We usually get in a few different storms and then it's a done deal. So our roads go a long time for being dry and all the oils from the car get onto the road. So when we do get that first rain, that first drizzle, all those oils come up and the rain and the roads do get slick. So people here don't know how to drive in the rain, period. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to get there. They just don't know how to drive. 
up in the northwest and stuff. They're talking to the old back east. You, you got your snow plows. Here we get a little bit of rain. It's out of control. Now, number 10. Coffee time. Coffee, 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 coffee. Cappuccino. Java. Yes. That's right. People here do love their coffees. Now, we have Starbucks like any other place. We've got them on every corner. But what's up and coming now are the independent coffee shops. The smaller guys trying to compete, not necessarily with Starbucks, but just trying to find their niche in their neighborhood. And they're doing a great job. People love coffee. They love their neighborhood coffee shops and they support those. Now, number nine, this is kind of off known fact. Not a, known, not a whole bunch of people back east know about this, but we do have wineries. Yes, we do. Some of the best wineries. Temecula Valley, hour and a half to the south of us, towards San Diego. They have the Temecula Valley Wine Tasting Festival. They have hot air balloon rides. They have over 30 different wineries down there. They have tours, great food. It's just up and coming and growing and just fantastic. Some of the best wines in Southern California right here. Now, if you're not the winery type of person, breweries are up and coming like crazy right here in Long Beach, downtown Long Beach, Atlantic, everywhere you go. Breweries are popping up like crazy. And the breweries, well, they're not just breweries, okay? They're family fun because they know they're in competition with the other breweries. So they're trying to make fun for the entire family. And that's the great thing about it. So now, when you're sitting down at that brewery, you're enjoying a great meal, you're enjoying a great brew, talk to that person next to you because Long Beach has some of the nicest people there is. Long Beach is a big melting pot. It's got so many communities involved. It's just a big melting pot and you can talk to people and you can get some fascinating stories. Just incredible stories about their heritage, about anything, about their life. What brought them here to Long Beach? It's just the people here are nice. And the one thing about all the restaurants and the breweries and everything, they know that their competition is right everywhere. So they're gonna treat you fantastic. Now food, food theories, philosophies and everything, it's all out there and on the table. So whatever you're looking for, whatever you're craving for, you can find it here in Long Beach. Like I say, Long Beach is a big melting pot of people from different ethnic communities, cultures and everything. And with that, they bring their dishes and open up restaurants. So you can find just about basically everything you want to ever try to experiment. I don't think I can ever get through the amount of restaurants that are in Long Beach and they're constantly coming up with more new, unique ideas. So five, fresh seafood? Well, we are a beach, Long Beach. Of course we got fresh seafood. It's right there in our ocean. You want to go and get some fresh lobster, fresh crabs, fresh halibut, salmon, whatever you want. Our boats go out every single day. They come right in and out of the harbors. You can go down to Bird 55, pick up some fresh salmon, fresh halibut, crab legs, whatever you want to get. Boom. Barbecue them that night. Good living. So number four. Now Long Beach is a bike friendly city. So we do love our bikes. Now whether it be a Harley or a Schwinn, love their bikes. We have designated bike paths, bike lanes and everything. So Long Beach is very, very supportive of our bikers. So number three though, now since most of the neighborhoods in Long Beach are pretty walkable to a lot of different things, people from outside of Long Beach you're gonna have to learn how to use your brakes on the car a little bit okay because people would park their cars and they walk everywhere and that's it they go shopping they eat they do all their stuff they walk they bicycle so they're gonna be in the crosswalks they're gonna be in the streets they're gonna be everywhere 
just don't bring that road rage and you're cool just let the people go through and just relax and enjoy the time now number two Long Beach has officially adopted a new favorite color and this was done a few years ago That's right, purple baby, recycle purple. Each house gets a trash can and each house gets a recycle bin. And usually the recycle bins are more fuller than the trash. I don't know if that's because people don't know which is which or what, I don't know. But it started off a little bit slow. They used to have a little tub, but now you got a big trash can. And uh, so it's a very successful program, taking off like crazy and getting bigger. Now, for the final one, this is completely up to you. Change of pace of lifestyle. How do you want to do it? Long Beach could be a million miles an hour or just go sit at the beach. However you want to do it. If you want to be that aggressive, just go get it and turn every opportunity because there are a lot of opportunities here. If you want to turn one of those opportunities in just Make it a million bucks. Show me the money. And doing this and just working and da da, you can do that. Or if you want to just go lay at the beach and work on that perfect tan and have a good time and check out the honeys, you can do that too. So the change of pace of life. It's all up to you. So I hope you found this video a little helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can always reach out to me or leave them down below. I will answer every single comment. Okay, and if you or anybody that you should know needs any real estate needs here in Long Beach or the surrounding cities, please feel free to reach out to me just like Rachel McKay did. All right, well, you take care and I will talk to you soon. Oh, my God.